hear a song that I wrote many years ago, and it was about my mom and me and my son. Then we got off on my mom when we were in the, in the bus the other day and started telling mom stories. <laughs> so I shared with me the night, and it's worth sharing again. Um, my mom and the three girls, I was the middle one, were for some godforsaken reason traveling across country by ourselves. Um, it was probably that horrible little Hudson that they wouldn't let my mother take me to school in. It was so square and horrible. Anyway, so we came to this town. We usually just would stop at, you know, a motel, a TV shaped motel or some kind of weird motif. Nothing was open. We couldn't find any place. I don't know where we were. And so we finally came up looking. I said, well, why don't we go to the police station? Maybe they can help us find somewhere. They asked them, and they were really very genuinely tried to find us somewhere to stay. They said, there's nothing. So I said, is there any reason we can't stay here? <laughs> and they said, well, not really. And so they put us in a cell. They said, maybe we have to throw some drunk in here later. And I said, that's OK. <laughs> It was a very giggly night. In the morning when we got up, there was a line of about 40 policemen watching these <laughs> apparitions of these women who slept in the cell all night. <laughs> That's one mom story. Earlier in the game, I taught myself to sing and play and lose a little trickery. On kids who never favored me. Those were years of crinoline and slips and cotton skirts and swinging hips and dangerously painted lips and stars of stage and screen. Pedal pushers, angle socks, padded bras and campus jocks who hit their vernal equinox in the pair. Around and you wonder how. 
opens your heart and brings you an arms to lullaby.